Hello everyone and welcome to First Trending. My name is Bukin Vemano. On this show, I tell you what topics are trending on social media and I also tell you exactly why they're trending. For more trending topics, please visit the Plus TV Africa website or check out our social media handles at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, on Twitter and also on Instagram. So people, I woke up this morning and guess what was trending? Camel toe challenge. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am not going to talk about it. No, 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 no. Like, not even going to talk about it. Moving on, veteran Nollywood actor Yinka Kodri is trending today also because people on social media, you know, are comparing him to his colleagues, the likes of Ogogo, Ogabelo, Jideko Soko, you know. At King Kudos says, Yinka Kodri is underrated. He can act as Babalawo, Afa, Woli, Rich Man, Poor Man, Criminal, Sugar Daddy, to mention a few. He is surely a bit above the others. Ogogo shouldn't even make this list. Dele Odule and or Antalani Yo will better replace Ogogo in there. Guys, come on now. What did Ogogo do to you? Calm down now. Calm down. Anyway, at Ben Wells, on the other hand, says that these four are brilliant actors in their own ways. Jide Kosoko, with the advantage of featuring in English and Hollywood movies and television shows, has a richer CV. Well, okay. Anyway, people, you decide, okay? You decide who the better actor is. You can send your comments to us on WhatsApp, or you can post them up on social media using the hashtag plus trending. We'll see them, okay? Yeah. Now to our biggest trending topic today, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, the founder of the church popularly called or popularly known as Christ Embassy is trending today because of some comments he made regarding the federal government's decision to lock down Lagos and Abuja. Of course, Ogun State also. Now, according to Pastor Chris, the federal government was pushed to lock down Lagos and Abuja specifically because of 5G in Lagos and Abuja. He went on to say that they already tested 5G in Abuja, so they are digging in Lagos. Now, basically, the government ordered the lockdown so that 5G can be installed. Pastor Chris went on to say that what killed people in Wuhan, China, was not coronavirus. It was, guess what? 5G. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, for those of you who do not know what 5G is all about, I'll tell you. 5G is the fifth generation of wireless communication technologies supporting cellular data networks. Large-scale adoption began in 2019, and many countries, well, developed countries, um, are currently opting for the option of 5G. Is 5G dangerous? Uh, let's find out. Anyway, so some people, call them experts if you will, have claimed that 5G networks generate radio frequency radiation that can damage DNA, and lead to cancer. This frequency can even lead to premature aging, disrupt metabolism, and potentially lead to other diseases through the generation of stress proteins. Is Nigeria currently adopting the 5G option? TechPoint reports that there is currently no 5G network or technology in Nigeria. And according to the Nigerian Communications Commission, no 5G spectrum has been licensed to telcos as of today. However, people, last year, the media reported that the NCC gave permission for MTN to test the possibilities of 5G network in major cities across Nigeria. That's Lagos, Abuja, and Calabar. The trial lasted for three months and has since been concluded. The NCC has also come out to say that there is no link between 5G technology and the coronavirus or the COVID-19 pandemic. Hmm, enough about the facts, right? Let's see what people are saying on social media about Pastor Yakilume's comment. First off is at Igbo Wolf, and he says, I am not religious, but I respect Pastor Chris for standing up and saying the truth. He is a renowned scientist, and his opinions aren't just based off a Facebook post. 15 years ago, he healed a man who has been blind from birth, and the man could immediately identify and name colors. Hmm, sub observed. Next up is Manifest Majesty, and he says, Pastor Chris can see how the state is dismissive about the livelihood and sustenance of religion by the lockdown. What he is saying might be far fetched in many circles, but the end game is that the powers that be orchestrated this pandemic welcome to recession, well, hashtag recession 2020. Angie also says, I beg you people should leave Pastor Chris alone. He isn't your problem. 
problem right now. Truth is that theories like this even existed before now. Everyone has the right to understand things the way they see fit. If you don't like it, state yours, let's rest. Get busy, please. <laughs> well, finally, Daniel underscore Walter says, anytime the human race is on the brink of progressing technologically, these antichrist stories spring up. Years back, they said internet promotes pornography. One pastor said the TV is a taboo. Another said cashless policy is going towards or is gearing towards 66. Now it is Pastor Chris on 5G. Sigh. Here are more comments and reactions from social media. So guys, you too can share your comments. Just send them to us on WhatsApp or post them right there on social media using the hashtag plus trending and I promise I will find them. Finally, people, today is World Health Day and we celebrate health practitioners across the world. Thank you for your sacrifice time and time again. Look, we do not take them for granted. Coronavirus has been constant on the trend map since he began his world tour in January. Remember, people, wash your hands, stay safe, stay at home. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Plus Trending. Please tune in to Plus TV Africa on DS TV channel 408 or visit our social media pages and subscribe, of course, to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa for more trending topics. My name is Buki November, reminding you to make every day count.